<laughs> Hello and welcome back to Wonderland Asylum. I'm back today with stage five of the Hachet Partworks release of Build the U96 U-Boat. Okay, so in stage four we started work on the conning tower. We also started work on the bridge deck which goes at the top of the conning tower and we of course built the machine gun which will sit eventually on the bridge deck. Now today we're going to be continuing work on the conning tower and piecing the two sides together because we actually get the starboard side of the conning tower in this issue. The other thing we get with the second pack looking very nice is a little display plaque which will look lovely sitting in front of the completed model complete with a load of spec and other information but for now I'm going to keep it safe in its box because it's going to be a little while before we're ready for that but without further ado let's have a look at what we get in kit 5 okay so here are the pieces here for kit 5 again I'm going to leave most of them in here I don't think there's anything hidden underneath the conning tower other than the five CP screws I believe these are on this occasion as you see that's the other side of the conning tower again complete with a lot of lovely details therein yep I am indeed correct it is these are CP screws that we get today so what will we need for this one we will need again some super glue Again, my glue applicator just here like that as I say it's just a hand drill or a pin vise with essentially a straightened paper clip in there now as you can see there's a bit of glue build up on the end there now what I do to remedy that is I just get my flat nose pliers and just give it a little squeeze and the glue will crack quite easily and you'll be able to take it off just like that and you've got again a nice clean end to use just a little tip you can of course just cut the end piece off but I prefer to do that and speaking of cutting we will also need some sprue cutters for these here which I believe are the life belts but that's not what we need first the first thing we need is this piece here which is called the bridge platform and we need these two pieces here which are the walkways or the basically the foot step places and they're going in on either side you can see there and there now they will only go on one way because of the size and the placing of the pins so when you put it in I'll test fit it first because I say it will only go on properly one way so it'll go you can see with the way the pins are spaced it'll go with the shortest gap towards the front there so it will set in that hole like that so that the step ends up right at the back I'll take that back out put a little bit of super glue in and around each of the little holes again as I say it goes in just like this and it looks just like that when it's done fantastic and again same on the other side but this one there is the spacing of the pins again means it'll only fit on properly one way so again as long as you test fit it before you put glue on see like that you'll see it fits perfectly that way around if you tried to put it on the other way it would cut it would curve the wrong way anyway but it also wouldn't fit properly because of the alignment of the, the pins there. Again, a little bit of glue in each of the pin holes. And there we go. The step plates are on, just like that. Okay, now the next thing we need is the mouthpiece and the compass mount now I'm looking at that I'm assuming the compass will come later and it will be attached in there because at the moment there is just a hole and of course the compass is a very important item as I mentioned before the land that time forgot 
was based purely on the fact that uh, after the, the British and the Americans took over the German U-boat, the captain, Captain von Schoenvorts, was locked below decks and his first officer placed a magnet on the compass to stop them sailing to an allied port. And that was what led them to the Isle of Caprona, where they found the dinosaurs. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> did tell you I really enjoyed that film. So again, the speaker looking like this goes into the hole on the front there. Just make sure it's sitting straight like that. And then the compass mount, which looks like this. So I'm hoping there will be a, a detailed compass that comes later. If not, I may have to try and whip something up myself. Obviously without a magnet under it though. <laughs> and put it in looking just like that. Perfect. Now the next thing we need to do is turn this upside down. Now those two bits should hold it quite comfortably and we need our coloured reflectors for the navigation lights. Now as we know, red is port and green is starboard and they go in to a position, you can see there is a little slot in the side of it and you can see there's a little slot there. Now you don't glue this and I think that's for very good reason because if you glue it there's always the danger it will frost over but do make sure you push it down nicely like that. It does fit in quite snug so you shouldn't need any glue anyway and the same with the green one which is obviously the, the starboard side now bear in mind this is upside down but as long as you follow the pictures you'll be absolutely fine now the next thing we need are the fiber optic cables and they look just like this so obviously they'll have a light source at the end and it'll send the light along to these bits here. And the way we have to put the fibre optic cable in, it does give you a very, very detailed description, is the bronze bit should be just past the end of the reflector, like that. So I'll see. Oh, it feeds in quite nicely, actually. Yeah, it goes in quite nicely. And then just get your tweezers and push it down. And it should look something like that. It's perfect. And then the same on the other side. Now, unfortunately, we're not given the facility to test these at this point, which would have been, you know, would have been handy. But I'm assuming we'll test them in the not too distant future. I would hope at least. Again, put it into place, get your tweezers and push it in just like that. And that is the navigation light with the fibre optic cables attached. Now the next thing we're doing is bringing over the bridge deck from last time. Taking this piece that we've just created and it's going to be mounted on top of the bridge deck just here. Now there are four pins on the underside of the walkway there and they're going to slot into the four holes that you can see here. So again, get some glue into hole number one, number two, number three back here and then number four over there. And the hole here slots over the top of the, the periscope tube, essentially. So just make sure the pins are all lined up because you don't want any gaps. Give it a nice squeeze down to let the glue set. And that looks just like that. 
fantastic. Fits very well, as I say, not on, not like the old Airfix kits I used to build when I was young. <laughs> they did not fit very well. So again, we now cut off the life belts. Just like that. And get rid of these two sprues. And we're bringing over the two sides of the conning tower. And both sides get one of the rubber rings. And they'll go in to the sides, just like that. Now it's when you see the size of these, now because obviously this model is going to be much the same size as, you guessed it, Bismarck and Titanic when it's finished. But the difference in scale, you can really tell, because when you built Bismarck, the rubber rings were absolutely tiny. And they were also the wrong colour. They came white and uh, had to be changed, whereas these ones are the right colour. These are red, which is the, the colour the Kriegsmarine used. But... Uh, yeah, they were absolutely tiny on Bismarck. And you see the size of these. Um, that's when you remember this is 1 48th scale. And Bismarck is 1 200th scale. But yep, that is the rubber rings in place on either side. Looking very good. So now what we're doing is this bit. From what I've seen previously, I'm going to take the other two pieces out of the, the box so we can get rid of it and have a, a little bit more room. The only other two pieces we have is the vent piece, like we glued previously, and a kind of bridging piece there. And we'll see where that goes, just shortly. So the first thing we need, we need our CP screws, because what we're going to be doing now is piecing the, the conning tower together. Now it is a little bit fiddly because of the fibre optic cables. We need to make sure we don't either break or pinch them. And that's going to be a challenge because they fold down and around that vent piece that we've already attached which I think it would have been a better because there's no gap there so I think I'm going to have to feed it through but we'll see we'll see what happens as we do it so the first piece it wants us to get is indeed the starboard the, the port piece sorry so what I'm going to do is feed yeah feed it through like that And it goes over the two screw holes just like that okay now the other thing you're going to need to do is make sure because again it's slotted rather than a screw hole it's a screw slot so what you're going to need to do is make sure that you've pushed it in as tight as it can go because you don't want a gap up the middle there now let's put the first CP screw in my worry was it was going to go in awful hard, but no, it seems to be going in not too badly at all. And then the rear one. Now that's fine. Because I guided that fibre optic cable through, It's it's gone through no problem at all. As I say, my concern was that I was going to end up pinching it, but nope. It seems to have gone in no problem. Again, keeping quite a bit of pressure on the side. That's what that looks like. <laughs> absolutely love it. Looks absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? And then the next thing we're doing is getting the other side and doing the exact same thing. So again, line it up, feed the fibre optic cable. In fact, I'll show you. There's a small gap there. So feed the fibre optic cable through that gap, just like that. Make sure it is the backmost gap, because the frontmost gap gets closed off by one of these prongs, and you don't want that. So again, push that together nice and tight. And again, you can see the fibre optic cable is perfectly free there. And this is where you want to keep it as tight as possible, because you want to make sure there is no panel gap at 
the front there because that will look absolutely dreadful and it doesn't seem to matter how hard you squeeze it together there is going to be a gap at that front and I don't like that but we'll see what happens when I put the, the rearmost screw in if that has any effect so put the rear screw in oh dear that's a terrible terrible panel gap right Give me a minute, I'm going to fiddle about with this and uh, I'll be back in just two seconds because I know we are about to put another piece on that should help but mm, no, um, I'm not happy with how that's sitting at all so I'm going to fiddle about with these screws because that gap is, is absolutely atrocious. I, I am not prepared to tolerate that. That's better. And then the same with this one, just squeeze them both together as much as you can. And then put the screw back in. And that's taking care of a lot of it. Yeah. Hmm, in fact one of them seems to be sitting, right I'm going to go and play with this and I'll be back in just two secs. Because you can see there, there is a horrible gap and I want to fix that. There we go, far better. Just had to adjust the, the screws slightly. Okay, and now what we need is... Yep, we need the kind of bridging piece here. And what it's going to do is essentially go in between the two sections there. So I'm going to glue that in now, because what that should do as well is stop any movement between these two halves of the conning tower. There we go. You're essentially doing this blind, so as you can see, I dropped it and it's stuck. <laughs> right, there we go. So, what you're trying to do is line it up as best you can because there's not a big gap for you to put it down. Then, line it up with the two. Line the two tabs up with the holes as best you can and push it down. Hmm. That's one no. It's not very happy this piece. And because the conning tower tube is already in, you can't really get in to try and manipulate it. Get that a bit more pressure. I'll use the, the pliers to push it down. And there we go. Yeah, there we are. That's it. Just need a bit more downwards force. <laughs> but there we go. That's that in now. Now that wasn't easy because the conning tower tube is in the road. And of course... Uh, the panels want to spring apart slightly, but you can see that pulls it together really, really nicely. And that's that part done. And now the next bit we need is the other vent that we had previously. Again, it's just going in on the other side. So the only thing you need to be sure of is that the fiber optics are out the road, which they are because I guided it down through that trough earlier on. A little bit of glue on either side. Again, you could have done this before you, you put this all together if you wanted, but I decided to do it in order to see if it made it any easier. It doesn't particularly. Um, but yeah, that's what that looks like. That is the start of the conning tower. The navigation fibre optics are all fitted. Hopefully we'll get to, to test them soon. I don't have a light source handy, or I would test it to let you see but yeah and uh, 
just as a little teaser, that's the, the gun that we made last time. It's There'll be a plinth for it to sit on, but it more or less sits there, just like that. That looks phenomenal. Oh, it did look phenomenal till it fell off. But there we go, that's where that's going to sit eventually. But I just think that looks amazing. Perfect. So that's us for stage five. What are we doing in stage six? We're actually adding a piece to the hull. So in the next stage, we'll be adding a piece that comes out here, basically. So yeah, not too difficult. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, but after the last couple of uh, stages, I'm, I'm quite glad about that. Uh, so as I say, that's what we did today. That is the, the conning tower as it stands. And you can see there is the the deck gun. It's not fitted properly um, because there is a plinth for it to, to sit on but that will be fitted at a later date. That's what it's looking like just now. I just think that looks phenomenal. <laughs> but as always, thank you for watching. Any feedback, concerns, complaints, criticisms or even compliments, put them down below. Uh, do leave me a like because it does help me out massively uh, with the algorithm lets YouTube know that people like what I'm putting out. And uh, do subscribe to be notified for future issues of the U96 and the Titanic and anything else that may come along. But yeah, thanks for, for watching and as always guys, peace out.